And now, ladies and gentlemen, a small experiment in time travel made famous by Mr. Wells. I asked one of you to bring some rope. Do you have it, sir? Thank you so much, sir. Now, this piece of rope represents society. Sir, as the master of the house, if we were to divide the rope up, you certainly would have the longest piece. Madam, as the mistress of the house, you would have the medium-sized piece. And of course, the domestics would have the smallest piece. Well, I'm told that at some future place in time, what's going to happen is the master of the house, the mistress of the house, and the domestics will all be exactly equal. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, surely not. <laughs> I don't believe it myself. But there you go. The thing is, what is also going to happen at some future point in time is that all the rope will be restored. Oh, oh very yeah. well done, what? Bravo, bravo, well done, well done, yes, rather good. Very bravo. good, yes. Bravo. Bravo. yes I, I thought it was stringing us along there for a while. <laughs> But what you didn't notice is this piece of rope is slightly smaller than it was before. Sir, would you mind if I had a cigar? Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, good heavens, yes! Oh, I smell! Very clever, very, very clever. <laughs> well done, bravo, bravo, bravo. bravo. terrific, yes. terrific. Must be a trick box, you know. It must, must be some way of doing it easily, yes, yes. Oh, would you mind if I had a cigar, sir? Oh, absolutely. Please, please, you deserve it. You deserve Thank it. Thank you so much. My pleasure. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Well done, well done, well done. How did he do that? Amazing, that was terrific. Oh, yeah. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm wonderful. Eighteen fifty-one, Victorian London. A place still traversed by the horse and carriage, still reached by the steam train, still the cradle of an empire. Still talking, Steve. If I'd wanted a running commentary, I'd watch a documentary. I'm sorry, I'm just excited. Well, I am too. I did teach history, you know, so I picked this year. I know a little too. It's a year of inventions. The Yale lock. The sewing machine. The telegraph. The refrigerator. Now that was cool. Evaporating milk. And of course the two satellites of Uranus. Well don't get personal now. Anyway, you know why we're here. The Great Exhibition. Yeah, and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm just as excited to see the lesser known parts of London. This year is supposed to be filled with curious places. Still is in my time. They're just neon lit and open 24 7. Yeah, but I'm more interested in seeing the things that you can't see anywhere else. Like all those unrecorded theatre shows and maybe even a freak show. Steve, I thought this is why we came on holiday. Everywhere I go with you feels like a freak show. Now who's getting personal? Anyway, I'm tired, I'm hungry. Let's just find a place to stay. The Savoy? Doesn't open till 1889. The Ritz? 1906. Dorchester? 1931. Steve, I thought you knew your history. Well, all right, whatever. Just go find a little B&B. Oi, I could have been changing. Well, hurry up and do it then. Not only is dinner not long, but I don't think we'll have to go that far to see a show. The Great Mask Event, Illusionist Extraordinaire. Yeah. And he's performing to the guests here tonight. How perfect is that? Sounds unusual, but I'm game. Good. 
I'm going to go for a drink before we start. That sounds really unusual, but I am also game. Well, hurry up then, or I'm drinking yours. A single piece of bread. <laughs> Lighten up, Steve. Just try and enjoy it. I oh, am. Yeah. Just watch him how he does it. Exactly. Don't bother. We all know it's not real. Just imagine that it is. That's the thing. I enjoy seeing how a trick works, but I just don't see it here. And so, ladies and gentlemen, our show is done. But please don't be sad. I shall return tomorrow. Tomorrow is another day and another night. And we shall cast new shadows and shed new light. Bravo, bravo. Terrific. Wonderful. Wonderful. So, Madam, you enjoyed the act, I hope? Yes. Quite intriguing. You'll have to excuse him. He's a little uptight at times. I thought it was great. Yes, well, it is a little late. I must retire. Recharge your batteries. Yes. I do find I need the energy to channel into good magic. Quite seamless, in fact. I'm sure we'd both like to see you perform again tomorrow. Indeed. Will you have something new for us, then? I think perhaps I might, madam. Sir, so, good evening. After the exhibition, I want to go to the parks and the railway stations. What about the palaces? What? Earth to Steve, are you listening to anything I'm saying? Well, it wasn't a stage show, Kate. Oh, not this again. It wasn't. Most of what he was doing wasn't magic. It was real magic. Could you just turn your Sherlock Holmes circuit off for like five minutes? We're meant to be on holiday. It wasn't published until 1887. All right, smart ass. Look, he's performing again tonight. We can go and see him, and you can watch his every move, can't you? OK, yeah. Yeah. All right, where to then? Crystal Palace? We'll take the tube. Not for another 12 years, you burk. Oh, yeah. Well, then I guess your carriage awaits. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, before I go, Something special for the evening. Madam, would you care to help me? Now, madam, what's the furthest place in the world you have been? Oh, to the continent, here and there. You yeah. like to travel everywhere. Oh, yeah, me and my friend. Yeah, and with my travelling cloak, you could travel anywhere in the world. Focus your attention in the distance. Keep your eyes open, ready to prepare for precipitation. <laughs> 